It can be very overwhelming, especially when um, the family on the outside has to witness the level of abuse that um, that contestants do get. And it's very, very bizarre people that feel the need to do that. Um, but at the same time, contestants are going on the show um, for the particular reason of maybe finding love, but also at the same time becoming famous, getting endless boohoo deals and lots of other stuff and, you know, with the ability to make lots of money. So when you put yourself out there on a show that's watched by millions of people, you are inevitably going to come across good and bad. But I think for them, uh, well, perhaps the good outweighs the bad for mm. some people. Let's have a little look at just a moment from last night. Your speech made me feel like I was in love. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I fell in love with you instantly. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was really nice. You were saying some nice things and I got a bit like, embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Is that Hugo there? No, no. no. <laughs> that's Liam. I'm not even off first base on this. That's, that's Liam. Liam. And that was a lovely moment. That's a moment where everything's going well and you've got two people that have come together that, that find each other very attractive and, uh, and are getting together and that's lovely. The problem comes when you have more confrontational moments. Mm. What and do I you think, think? But I think Dominique's right as well. The problem comes afterwards for some of the people that have been involved. So I do watch it. I think of it as a guilty pleasure. I've got a little bit of guilt about it. My sons say, you shouldn't watch it, Mum, because, you know, people have had, you know, some people arguably have taken their lives even after they've been on it. But what's therefore really important is that they are properly looked after. And I think ITV are working quite hard to make sure that people have got the support that they need mm. when they come out and they see, as Dominique says, all of the stuff that has been said about them. People need to just stop being so blooming horrible. It is horrible, a it is about people on an island copping off with each other. You know, this is not something massive that you need to be horrible to people about. I wonder whether social media's got worse. There's a big call now after the we're going to talk about the football in, in due course, but People have, we need to see your face and see your name. Yes. If you're on social media, I want to know who I'm dealing with. And I got, you know, I get some, some, someone with a picture of a, you know, a dog and a silly name. And no nobody, followers. Nobody's held accountable for the things no. that they say online, but they cause the same impact as if they came from a real person. So they really need to always come from an identifiable person. So people can get held accountable for the things that they say. Mm. Yeah. I think people with the accounts, though, should still be able to be anonymous. Yeah. But um, I do yeah. understand where people are coming from when they say that the social media companies themselves need to have some proof of address yeah. and ID for those yeah. accounts. Yeah. I think that's exactly the right balance.